On top of that, continuous seizures made communication within the healthy part of his brain nearly impossible. Doctors hoped that a hemispherectomy would stop the seizures and allow what was left of Guy's brain to develop, but they could not be certain of the outcome. When Guy first came home, I had um, a physician's prescription to see him every day, seven days a week, including the weekends, which is really unheard of for home physical therapy. And I did that, and the first day I came here, I was absolutely blown away. Guy could not sit up. His eyes were spinning around in his head, and it took the full effort, my full effort, to get him in a sitting position and have him maintain that for even seconds. Within a week's time, he was back up. I came, you know, I came every day, but I'll never forget the following week, I came to the door, and Guy answered the door. Standing up, hi, Sal, he said, and I, I was amazed that he could progress that quickly. Okay, let's sing your cheese song. Rock a bike cheese on the counter. Guy likes to eat it, to eat it all up. Of course, the obstacles Guy had to overcome were more than just physical. In the normal human brain, the left hemisphere is primarily responsible for language, a phenomenon called lateralization of function. Since Guy had his left hemisphere removed, his right hemisphere would have to develop this vital skill. But it would come at a price. Lateralization means the um, control and processing of a particular cognitive function by one side of the brain. So for language, it's typically the left hemisphere. For spatial cognition, it's typically the right hemisphere. I like it, Andrew. You like Andrew, and who else? Linda. Go around. I don't like Andy. You don't like Andrew. The brain has priorities in development. And one of the highest priorities for development is language. Um, when you move language from the left hemisphere to the right hemisphere, something has to go. There was going to be a function in that area, and, and probably that is mostly spatial coordination. So somebody who has lost left hemisphere, begun to use right hemisphere for language, may go to the store walk down the aisle and then can't figure out where the front of the store is anymore because that spatial orientation is not as good as it would have been. They replaced that with language, which was a higher priority. 